Stitch number 23 and 24 on the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960 are the ideal stitches for blanket stitch applique. So there's a couple different things you need to know from length, stitch length to stitch width, how to adjust it, what's the difference between the two stitches. So if you start off stitch number 23, and I'm just doing a little test run and then I'll show you how we do it on our fabric. So stitch number 23 has a heavier stitch on that far straight stitch, the one on the right. So it's gonna go forward, back, forward, and then it bites in. And it's kind of doing a pretty hefty bite. So we'll be able to actually go into the settings and make it not so wide. Uh, my goal is usually whatever the stitch width is, that is the stitch length. So if I did three by two and a half, oh, that's better. Uh, it does give it that little extra thickness on that side. So let's just go back to our stitches and let's try 24. This is probably the one that I would uh, reach for uh, sooner. Again, I would adjust it. It is pretty wide for the, especially with the proportion of I, the stitch size I need for something small like this. Let me show you what it's gonna look like here. All right, so we had the heavier one. I was going down a previously stitched area. I did adjust it a little bit smaller. And again, this is the one I'm gonna use, but I'm gonna make it a little bit more petite for that actual finished look. Now, the other thing is, is what foot to use? Well, obviously we're gonna really need to follow along the raw edge. I've chosen the open toe foot, which came with the machine. You also have the clear foot that also can allow you to see where you're going and help with any fabric staying in place before it gets to the needle because there is a clear piece in front. But if I really wanna see where I'm going, let's go ahead and just take a few stitches here there we go, we'll get it lined up. The straight stitch that comes forward, you usually want it on your background fabric, so in this case, the white. Oh, I wanna shorten that stitch length down just a little bit, bring it a little closer. There's actually two stitches in between that. Ah, yes, but I like the look. That'll really do the job for appliquing everything in place. Oh. So pretty. See how I actually shortened that stitch length and it brought it a little bit closer together? Now, since we actually used the same sample that we did for the satin stitch applique video, let's just take a look. This is a raw edge piece that we're applying to a base fabric. This satin stitch is gonna completely cover up the raw edges, making them very secure for washing and wearing. Applique stitches that like the blanket stitch is gonna be more decorative. So this would, I would use these stitches on things that aren't gonna be washed on a regular basis. Maybe something seasonal, something like a wall hanging or a table runner that you might wash once a year or every couple of years. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for a very secure uh, stitch, you wanna go for a zigzag stitch with a shortened stitch length. But also too, any decorative stitch you could be used for a stitching along a wrong edge. So all these decorative stitches, this always makes my heart go excited when I can use other stitches outside the blanket stitch world for applique.